homes. Now, you might have seen lots of these gnome decorations out in shops this holiday season. Well, we love staying on top of all the trends. So we asked one of our favorites, local crafters, to make some original creations, and she never disappoints. That's right. <laughs> Stephanie Peña Frost, owner of Princess and the Monkey, is here to show you some DIY creations and tell you how you can support her local shop. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So what are we making today? We are making... Believe it or not, gnomes. <laughs> we are decorating these are. cute little guys. <laughs> um, I wanted to make it easy. Instead of showing y'all how to build it from scratch, which is very labor intensive, I decided I'm gonna show you how to jazz up a gnome that maybe you already have that you've already bought. Good idea. And make him yeah. pers personalize him. <laughs> yes. I just love that gnomes are they're they're the hot thing, right? Yes. People love gnomes. Yes. So I make they're them cute. all year round. <laughs> I, I don't just make them for Christmas. I have them for every single season. I just love them. Perfect. So, but Christmas is the most fun. All what right. What are some of the most popular ways to jazz up a gnome? So these these plain and simple ones. What you want to do is you always want to put that fuzzy fur around the cap. I mean, because Santa always has that big fur cap. That's yeah. True. And then from there, you want to put you know some little something green, a little green touch on it, something sparkly, a ribbon, to kind of. Give it more of that attitude. Bring it to life, their, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's their flair. Now, so. uh, where are you getting these gnomes at to jazz up? You're saying they're already made, right? So yes, these are already made. So um, I was at Joanne's uh, just oh. last week, and they have a bunch of them, and they're on sale. They're fifty percent off. What? You can get. I know. That's it's, a deal. It's a deal. So you can you can buy them already pre-made. These two definitely came from there. Um, Hobby Lobby has them as well. Michaels will have them as well, and they're not decorated. They just come already made. But so I love this idea though because it makes it easy, and the kids will still have fun with this. If you give them a little station, oh, or, I yes, know. they yes. can go to and town. They can make it personable. They can make it their own. Um, so yeah, so I have. All, so that's been my biggest seller at all the markets that I'm doing, everywhere that I'm at. The gnomes are where are flying off. So, Speaking of, yes. the, where can people find you? These so, markets. So this weekend. Uh, Starting today, well, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm at the Bernie, uh, the, the Hill Country Christmas Light Festival, Ooh. and then I'm at SoFlo on Saturday here in town. Awesome. So I'm in a couple of different all places. I'm all, <laughs> I am all over. Oh. Um, I've had a lot of custom orders for ornaments <laughs> and for paintings and different <laughs> kind of fun stuff like that. So Now, it, when you're making this at home, I know we're using a hot glue gun, yes. right? Is that the only tool that you really need? That's the only tool you need. Well, scissors, of okay. course, scissors. wire cutters. But a hot glue gun will definitely do it. So you are good to go there. Now, is there is there a right way of decorating a gnome, or is it just kind of go for it? Go for it. OK. There's, <laughs> there's I don't know, never there's a right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I like all... these two because yes. I mean, we're having fun. I know. These were cute. But these Those are, are perfect. Yeah. I know. Oh, I didn't finish that one. But for the tree and then save them. Yes. Put them out every year. You yes. can even wear it on your ear. Oh, you my gosh. Ear. Earrings. <laughs> I, okay. dropped my, I dropped my nose. Another trend. There you I go. like I what you were saying <laughs> earlier, Dan. Yes. I was like, you know, Elf on a Shelf It's not my bag, but maybe a gnome in your home. There you, uh, go. there you go. There you go. go. I like that. You can have that. dueling gnomes. Yes, and, and then you can have elf and gnomes, gnomes and elves can battle. It's like your own version of Lord of the Rings for the holidays, <laughs> right there in your own home. All right, thank you, you so have, much. Thank yes. You. Yeah, yeah. And then now these right here are like yes. different ways to kind of fancy up hot chocolate, right? Yes, they're great for like teacher gifts, neighbor gifts, kids gifts. Just kind of throw some hot chocolate in, put it in one of the gnomes on top, you're good to go. Love it. Well, thank All you right. so much for being here. And to get more information on Stephanie Benya Frost and her Princess and the Monkey shop, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.